Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. John 15, verse 16. The life on earth is the beginning of the life in heaven. Education on earth is an initiation into the principles of heaven. The life work here is a training for the life work there. What we now are in character and holy service is the sure foreshadowing of what we shall be. Christ's work below is his work above, and our reward for working with him in this world will be the greater power and wider privilege of working with him in the world to come. In our life here, earthly, sin-restricted though it is, the greatest joy and the highest education are in service. And in the future state, untrammeled by the limitations of sinful humanity, it is in service that our greatest joy and our highest education will be found, witnessing, and ever as we witness, learning anew the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ gave no stinted service. He did not measure his work by hours, his time, his heart, his soul, and strength were given to labor for the benefit of humanity. Through weary days he toiled, and through long nights he bent in prayer for grace and endurance that he might do a larger work. The love of Christ, said Paul, constraineth us. This was the actuating principle of his conduct. It was his motive power.